Hi, this is Vijay Bhambani and I'm back with you in this video to talk about an important development for energy traders, which is natural gas and crude oil. This is uh, uh, more uh, for natural gas traders because that's what the focus is in this video. I have been updating you about the hurricane season in the United States, which is likely to be the busiest in 116 years. As a matter of fact, the U.S. Hurricane Center has run out of letters of the alphabet, the English uh, alphabet, and therefore has started uh, resorting to using the Greek alphabet for naming uh, fresh hurricanes. The other thing is, normally hurricanes uh, tend to come uh, or form from uh, 1st of June to maybe end of September, rarely stretching out into the month of October. But this year around, the hurricane activity is prolonged and therefore, officially, the hurricane season has now been extended to 30th of November. Now, this hurricane that I'm uh, uh, updating you about has formed on 5th of October and it is named as Hurricane Delta, right? After uh, the Greek uh, name. As I said, uh, the Hurricane Center has run out of uh, English uh, names and therefore they are now resorting to Greek names. It's uh, uh, passing by Jamaica, Grand Cayman Islands and Cuba. The hurricane is expected to make a landfall as of now as we speak. Remember, the weather tends to be unpredictable and it can change course over time. But as of now, the data that I have with me is that uh, it's likely to make a landfall in Louisiana uh, somewhere in the uh, latter part of this week. And uh, currently it's proceeding at 45 miles per hour, which is not half as bad as uh, Sally or uh, <clears throat> uh, the other hurricanes that have uh, made landfalls. But hurricanes can change directions as well as velocity or speed. So uh, we keep our fingers crossed and hope uh, there's not too much damage out there. In anticipation of this hurricane, natural gas prices have started jumping up as I record this video on uh, uh, Monday night. And I expect uh, uh, gas prices to stay volatile because of a few other uh, uh, concurrent uh, developments in uh, the energy markets, which uh, I want to update you about. Now, uh, strikes in Norway in the oil and gas industry are rare for uh, the reasons of pay hikes. Although the unions do threaten to go on strike uh, on account of uh, pay negotiations, they seldom result in prolonged strikes. But this is one uh, uh, instance where the Norwegian uh, uh, workers have actually called in for a strike and six large oil and gas fields are likely to witness a drop in oil output to the extent of 144,000 barrels of oil per day. Uh, the biggest uh, uh, oil and gas field in Norway, remember North Sea oil, uh, uh, the biggest uh, oil and gas field in Norway, the Johan Swedrup, it's something that I kept on mentioning a couple of months ago on my social media pages because uh, uh, Equinor, the company that runs uh, the Swedrup uh, uh, oil uh, well, actually ramped up production there recently. And now, unfortunately, because of the strike, Equinor is likely to witness the largest oil field in uh, uh, Norway uh, being uh, impacted by this strike. Uh, the other uh, uh, large well and uh, field that is uh, likely to be impacted is the Gudrun. Now, uh, these are two very large oil fields and the companies that run uh, these oil wells that are likely to be crippled by strikes. Uh, one is, of course, Equinor, which is the uh, uh, Norway's uh, uh, official oil and gas uh, major. Uh, you also have Neptune Energy of uh, UK and uh, Germany's Wintershaw. Now, uh, these are two or three names that are likely to uh, be actively negotiating with their workers to call off the strikes, but these are issues that one cannot easily predict. So on one hand, 
you have hurricane delta on the other hand you have the strikes in norway which are likely to keep prices fairly firm both in terms of crude oil and natural gas elsewhere i mean i had recorded a video a couple of months ago about uh, the us administration trying to uh, uh, the uh, they're trying to sanction donald trump has actually announced sanctions on um, the nord stream uh, gas uh, pipeline from russia to germany now russia happens to be the largest supplier of gas uh, in europe uh, because of the huge amount of reserves of oil and gas that russia has and the russian uh, deliveries to europe have fallen by a whopping 30 to 33% thanks to the decline in oil and gas prices over the last two quarters so uh, russia's supply has been curtailed which means um, uh, the markets in oil and gas are likely to remain a little elevated although they are oversupplied over a period of time there are artificial cuts in output which are resulting in the prices staying so please understand that uh, it's not a bull market in energy yet these are artificial props and supports that are basically lifting the prices higher hurricanes of course are temporary they'll come and go on the other hand there are oil and gas producers particularly gas because this video is more about gas as compared to oil there are uh, producers of uh, gas like iran qatar and iraq which are desperate to raise revenues and therefore they will ramp up gas output and sales in spite of the fact that prices are falling as a matter of fact the qataris have even issued a statement that they will not uh, curtail output and exports even if uh, crude oil and natural gas um, uh, more of natural gas i'm sorry if natural gas prices were to even fall further the qataris are not going to hold back uh the other uh, news uh, that could basically curtail uh, gas prices from running up too high in spite of all the supply disruptions caused by hurricanes and artificial output cuts is the fact that um, the saudis have discovered two sizable gas fields at al hajara near the uh, iraq uh, saudi arabia border and uh, these are two uh, gas fields that are expected to yield a substantial amount of uh, uh, hydrocarbon fuel now uh, i had also talked about uh, the jafura oil well in saudi arabia it's a super giant uh, gas well and uh, the saudis intend to pump in us dollar 110 billion into uh, developing this gas field and Uh, exploiting a substantial amount of uh, uh, gas reserves from here to raise revenues which means uh, as long as uh, these plans are still on uh, gas prices are not really uh, going to run away anytime soon so barring the temporary bullishness because of these factors which might keep uh, a crude oil and natural gas prices a little high and uh, therefore uh, postpone any kind of short uh, sales on these two counters but as uh, some of these mitigating uh, circumstances are uh, easing off i think uh, uh, prices are likely to go down again on a downward trajectory i'll keep you updated in uh, my forthcoming videos about the same so for now we basically sit tight and watch the developments as they unfold i assure you again i will update you as and when the situation demands on this note i bid goodbye to you in this video till we meet again in my next do take very good care of yourself your health your family your trades and investments which i am bani signing off for now thank you for watching bye bye also do not forget to subscribe to my free email newsletter fast profits daily and get my free guide how to trade markets like a pro